Six months ahead of elections in Peru, the chances remain glim for the party of current president Ollanta Humala. Our correspondent Raul Mora now reports on how the official party could lose ground. Monday's protest for water and drainage services in the outskirts of Lima is one of a series of continuous social conflicts that have contributed to the political crisis President Ollanta Humala is facing. He made promises to the people, but at the end he did not fulfill his promises. The main necessities we have are water and drainage systems, which are main elements for human life. Umala is also facing a crisis in Congress as he continues to lose members. Last week, Vice President Marisol Espinosa resigned from her post and became the 19th Congress member to quit the ruling party. Truth is, there are few of us left, but we are the real nationalists, the ones who truly believe in the government and defend our government. Therefore, I believe that those Congress people who have left have probably done so because some necessities they had have not been satisfied. Public opinion approval ratings for the president are at an all-time low of only 12 percent, according to the latest poll. You have then people who knew this program, this government plan, and they are going to tell you that Ollanta did not follow it. He did not follow through with almost anything that he promised. Of the issues he raised during the election campaign, not only in 2011, but also in 2006. Presidential and general elections will take place next April, but all the possible candidates of the ruling party have been polling at single digits and if elections were held today, the party of Ollanta Mala will no longer hold any significant political power. Rafael Mora, Telesur, Perú.